my channel. I'm Ryan Elise. In case you're new, today I'm going to be doing my April favorites. Um, it is the last day of April. I can't believe I'm saying that. I'm going in May. Before I know it's going to be July and I'm going to be 26th in December. Lord help me. Alright, so for I don't have too many products today, so I'm just going to breeze through them. I'm going to go with the order they go in your fit, on your, in your face, on your face, and we'll go from there. Please ignore this. That's my hair. Move it out of the way and hopefully don't knock it down. Alright, and then I'm going to go through the makeup products. I actually have a couple of products that go with makeup, and then there's other beauty products that I want to mention. So the first thing I'm going to mention is my primer. It is the Optical Illusion. I know you've seen me use this on my channel quite a few times. Actually, a lot. Let's get real. A lot. And it's the Optical Illusion by Urban Decay. I like how it's metallic. It does look optical. Um, this is the best primer for me personally. Um, I find that it blurs out my pores. I have texture issues up in here. And I also have them on this side. I know you can see them better sometimes on this side than the other. So this, de this definitely blurs them out for me. Um, it smooths out my entire face. I like the consistency of it. It's not quite silicone, but it's not like a moisturizer. It does feel like a filler. I like the finish it gives me when my makeup is on top of it on my face. It just smooths it out and looks really pretty. Next thing I'm going to talk about is a setting powder. It's the Laura Mercier Translucent Translucent powder? Setting powder translucent, yes. So this. Um, a lot of people swear by this. A lot of people have tried this and don't like it. I know there's mixed reviews. I know it's really good for oily people, which I am an oily monster. So that's something, please ignore my jeans and my, my room in the background. So, um, I know a lot of people have mixed reviews about this. Personally, I like it. I use it to bake and I also use it to set my face and I find that it gets a nice, kind of like a, a flawless finish without too much. And honestly, if I just want to put on some concealer and set it, this helps it look so smooth. Like you can't even tell I got anything else on. So that's nice. Next thing I'm going to go with is my eyeshadow palette. I know y'all see this coming. I've been obsessed with this since I got it. Like it has been used and abused. It's the Violet Boss Times Laura Lee. I don't know if y'all checked it out on the retailer that I sent y'all. I know I put it also off of um, Wish. And my sister actually ordered it from Wish and she loves it. So, uh, from what I found out, Wish has pretty good quality, but I love this. It's a uh, perfect everyday palette. I'm actually wearing these on my eyes right now. Nothing too fancy. Like, I just threw on a little bit of Press Pot, Mama Bird, Whiskers, Alabama, and then, of course, I put the Laura Lee color on my lid, and I really like that. Best palette. Best buy I've had in a while. I love the color range. It's got everything you could ever need. Love, 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 love. By Milani, which I have actually used Milani Big Blush before, but the color is entirely different than my usual. I used to use Luminoso all the time. This is Dulce Pink. I have worn this, uh, I've been wearing this non stop. Let me swatch it for you. It is just this pretty, it looks iridescent and like peach, but check this out. On my face, see, it looks kind of peach on me, but on my face, I find it looks pink. Like you can see my contour right here and my highlight obviously here is what I want you to see but this is the blush and it's just a pretty wash of pink without being too I don't know intense maybe would be the word I'd use I love Luminoso too don't get me wrong I haven't broken down on my tried and true but this is a new one to my collection and girl go get it if you haven't tried Dulce Pink it's so pretty I think it I think it would really complement a lot of skin tones so there's that next two products I am going to mention is Tarte's Pro Glow to Go palette. I want to get the full one because I like the mini one so much all the time and you, you, you can barely see I've made a dent. Like I haven't even made a dent actually. I think the only place I've made a dent is probably here and I use them all like, about the same. So it's the Pro Glow to Go palette by Tarte and it's the Tarte's Pro Glow to Go palette. I love these. They smell, they smell like cocoa I think. I can't place it, but I love this. This is my perfect contour color. Like, let me, I know y'all seen me use this on my channel a bunch, so. See, pigmentation right there. The highlights are really pretty. I like how creamy they are. Personally, I like, see, there's that one, and then there's this one. I personally like the consistency better for Gleam as opposed to this one, because it's a little too yellow for me, but it's actually really pretty if you mix it with a couple, but so. Who didn't see this coming? Anybody that uses this palette is probably in love. Like, 
Well, need I say more? It is the, of course, Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. I love Nicole Guerrero. I love Anastasia's products. They couldn't have done better than this for a highlighting kit. It is amazing. Like, amazing. And I just... My baby. I love it. Absolutely love it. So yeah. Y'all saw that coming though. If you watch my channel, you saw that coming. Next, I've got two brushes. I've got two products. No, I've got two products and I've actually got a, two brushes and a hair products to show y'all. So we'll see. Um, I do have some lashes. I don't have them on right now. They're kind of dirty. I need to wash them. It is the Kiss Shies. They are so cute, so fluffy, so just pretty and feminine. They're not va va voom, but they're not like, they're not subdued by any means. And they just float like air. They're beautiful. Okay, so the last two products I have to name are actually from Milani, both of them. Um, I've been on a Milani kick this month. Hmm, go figure. So it's the Amore Matte Lip Cream by Milani. And this color is actually called Fling. It's what I have on my lips right now of the formula. Let me find a spot that I can swatch. Um, it's a pretty kind of, it's not pink. It's more of a um, fuchsia kind of. Yeah, I'm going to say fuchsia. Kind of matches my blanket back there. So yeah, um, it's definitely a fuchsia. I like how dry um, how dry, how matte it dries, and how undrying it is on the lips. I am planning to go get at least three more colors of these as soon as I can. Um, I want to try a couple of darker colors and see how they apply, but I actually found this one on a fluke, and I love it. It is perfect. Also, to find it not too hard to get off. I can take, um, a little bit of regular soap or my face wash if I want to, and just, and it's gone. But it stays on for a long time. I put this on actually three hours ago, three or four hours ago. I just got back from a baby shower. So, it's still there and I haven't reapplied. So yeah, phenomenal. And then the last makeup product, other than the tools that I'm gonna show you, I have two brushes, um, a tool, and then of course the, I keep adding more, but I keep finding them on my desk. <laughs> so yeah, um, I have two brushes and then um, a hair product and two tools. And it is the, the last product is by Milani as well, it's the Make It Last setting spray. Guys, hands down. I checked this out because of Kathleen Lights. She was raving about it. She said, it, well, of course, it's only $10 because it's Milani. I was like, you know what? Let me go find that. I look, girl, I jumped on this as fast as I could. I jumped on this. And let me tell you, it is the most amazing setting spray ever. It looks like I've hardly touched it. I've used this every time I've put on makeup. Recently, it hasn't been every day. It's been like every other day. But it's been on. So, yeah. This makes my makeup last perfectly. If I find that I look a little too powdery beyond all reason, I said that originally with, I believe, the Wet n Wild setting spray. After I was done with that, I realized how much I did not like it for me. This one, girl, I go through a hurricane with this thing on. I've switched to coconut oil to take my makeup off after this. That's how great it stays on, on my skin personally. And I am an oily person. Like, I am seriously oily beyond all reason. And I find that this keeps my makeup in place. Like, I can look, and I don't even take pictures. I can just look at myself in the mirror like, I can see too much powder. I will spray this on, and it just, everything just melts together beautifully. Kathleen Lights was right on the money. This is amazing. $10, best ever. And then the last product before I get to the tools, is a hair product, and it is actually the Batiste Divine Dark Dry Shampoo Spray. Okay, so I'm obsessed with dry shampoo. I'm gonna let you on know a secret if you didn't already know this. I have extensions. You can't tell that small pieces of hair, right? <laughs> and my hair looks really bad today. So I use dry shampoo like water, I'm not even kidding. And I tried the regular Batiste um, dry shampoo. I've also tried Pist, I believe it is. Pist, P-S-S-T from the 60s or 70s. At least that's what I remember according to the nanny. Anyway, so um, I used Pissed for a long time and I'd spray my hair and of course it leaves a white cast. Granted, you have to brush through it, but that's kind of hard to do with extensions. So instead, I decided when I was in Ulta not too long ago, about a, month, about a month or two ago, I picked this up and I love it. It is phenomenal. Just awesome. I guess be careful, I will say. I ran into this problem the other day. 
because I have bangs. If I don't feel like washing my bangs, I will have to um, to go ahead and do some dry shampoo on them. Forewarning, do this. Take a palette, put them over the top, and then spray. Because otherwise your, whoa, bangs. <laughs> Sorry. Otherwise, your forehead is going to be black. I went to the mall with a friend of mine and our daughters the other day, and I got home, and I dropped by my mom's to do some laundry because I don't have a washing machine currently. I know. I'm just telling you my story today. So, yeah. Um, I dropped by, and I literally, like, I swiped my finger on my forehead because I was doing something with my contacts, taking them out, and I moved my bangs over. And I do this, and I'm like, why um, is there something wrong? I thought maybe my lashes were falling in my eyes, or my brows were fading off from the day. No, it was the dry shampoo. I called my friend and was like, girl, did you let me walk around like this all the time? Like, what? Yeah, awesome stuff. And then my three utens utensils, what is this, forks and knives? Um, my three, I lied. Oh, I lied. I have three lip products to show you other than the Milani. Okay, I'll get to those in a minute. Okay, so three um, tools to show you. One is the e.l.f. This is the 101 brush. It's the perfectly precise collection, if you can't tell by the clear handle. This is just their massive powder brush. I know it's called the powder brush, but it's the massive powder brush. I love it. When I want to set my whole face... I dunked this puppy in and just dust it on like I'm in the 50s. And it's so fluffy. It's so nice. You can see it's dirty. It's got to be washed. So yeah, I use it a lot. And the other brush that I've really been loving is the e.l.f. Lip Brush. It's like $3. Retractable lip brush. I'm all over the place. That's three. You can laugh at me now in a minute. The other tool that I want to talk about is this lash applicator. It's $10 at Wal um, Ulta. It's got the curved edges. It's so easy. You just pop them on, straighten them out. I find it's a lot easier than tweezers. $10, best I've ever spent. Pretty awesome. I don't know if I've mentioned this in a previous favorites. I think I've only done one, maybe two favorites. I think only one. So yeah, definitely awesome. So those three lip products that I forgot to mention, like a big old dummy. Um, one is actually from Kylie Cosmetics. And then the other two are from another brand that I actually found on Wish that I was just really impressed by. Um, I use both as lip stuff and as um, eyeshadow. Per personally, a couple of these, I like them as lipstick. I like others as eyeshadow. One of the lipstick ones I like is by Farah. Right here. You can see the name. Foera. I can't tell. And so I use this particular one. Ka uh, ka yeah, Katarina in my festival rave look. It is the color I used on my lips. This is called the Studio Sign Lip Luster. And you see it kind of looks, it looks really brown in the tube, but as you move it around, it turns to like a brown red slash blue luminescence. You can kind of see it better in the light. It's a really pretty color. It's the color I used on that tutorial, and I really, really like it. I've yet to use this one particularly as an eyeshadow, but I intend to. And then, things just don't want to cooperate today. And then the other one from that band, brand, it's also a Studio Shine lip luster, is called Guadalupe. I love that name. It, it's definitely a bronze copper color. Like, ooh, it's very pretty. So yeah, that's the one I like to use as eyeshadow. Yeah, as eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow. Yeah. And then the last one is by Kylie Cosmetics, and I've been using this as a lipstick as well. It's the Metal Matte lipstick in the color King K. A lot of people love this face. And this one's more of a rose gold color. It's still really pretty, but it's more of a rose gold. And I find that I like the smell of this one a little bit better, but of course Kylie Cosmetics is phenomenal. So, um, these are the three lip products that I conveniently forgot. <laughs> like a dummy. So yeah, um, that completes this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Just so you know, my Fiance Does My voiceover is still on my channel. Um, I have yet to see who else checked that out. Let me know in the comments who's seen it and thought it was crazy. Those of you that know my fiance, well, I don't have to ask. <laughs> so yeah, um, please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Later guys. What was this? I don't know what that. Bye. Mm -hmm.
until you see the day you do. And so when you miss the good call. Oh, I'm filming. Oops. <laughs> I have three lip products to talk about. Four lip products to talk about. Four lip products to talk about. I feel like Wolverine. You're straight.